I mean, I can easily spend about four or five hours just doing this. Okay, this is my first visit to this property. Um, it's a new customer for me. Um, the grass hasn't been cut at all this year, so it's been left since last year. It also has a treatment program. Um, so as you can see, it's quite long. I would not normally do this with short grass, strim it. Because um, you don't strim st short grass, you use a lawnmower. You need a lawnmower. So yeah, I've also got the uh, handlebar um, still 130, um, which I prefer to have used on this job, but I didn't pack it, so I'll just use a 130R with a D handle. But it, it does the job. Um, it's just a bit easier to use with the uh, handlebars. So yeah, what I'm doing is I'm just giving it a strim over just to sort of uh, get rid of the bulk of the grass. And now I'm going to get the hater on it. I would have preferred to have got the Honda and ran, run the Honda over it, but unfortunately I forgot to pack, well I didn't forget to pack the Honda, I just didn't pack it. Because um, this would have been the only job where I use a Honda, so I just thought, well, just use a hater. Um, I would have rather have used the, um, the Honda, and that's the reason why, because the hater just does not like long grass. So I'm having to dig in there, get it out, and uh, as you'll see in a sec, the bag is only half full. So this is its first cut. I, shall, I will be cutting that three times uh, on this session. The mower is set on the high setting for the Hater Harrier, uh, it's a 48. And it's just really to collect all the uh, loose clippings. You see, again, basket empty or almost empty, but the mower just gets clogged. Also you can see by the curb stones there is some stone chippings. I did say to the customer that um, it'll take me a while to sort all that out. But my intention will be to remove all the stone chippings over time and dig down, get rid of a load of soil, put the stone chippings back so the stone chippings go level with the pavement, with the patio area, instead of level with the grass. Have it level with the grass and the grass encroaches, you can't strim down there or get your shears. I won't ever strim down there, I'll just get my shears on it. So this is now a second cut. Uh, I'm just going around the edges just to tidy up the, the turn, the mower turns. Um, and then it's just a case of going different direction just to get rid of any Mohicans that are sticking up. I don't know where I heard somebody say that, but I thought that was a pretty, pretty good description of the little tufts of grass you get between you know, each direction. If you have a tuft of grass, it looks like a Mohican. So this is now its second um, going over. I've lowered the, the deck just a little bit, just to get it down a little bit lower. Um, when I did, when I talked to the customer on my initial visit, I did say to them the lawn isn't going to look pretty. It's going to look a little bit um, discoloured, and it's because the lawn has just been left so long. But over time, it will green up and it will sort itself out if I keep mowing at the same length, which is what I do on all my lawns.
again at the uh, length I'm going round just to get rid of the lower turn marks. Just tidies up the edge. And this is its final string round the edge. Um, the first string was really just to sort of get it to a level where I can see what I'm doing. real time so yeah um, you can see now I'm putting in an edge I don't usually um, use a strimmer like this the strimmer has a habit of cutting out if I hold it upside down like that so um, today it was behaving and because this was such a, a big job and I never quoted them an initial cut I just quoted them for the a regular cut I just wanted to get the edges done as quick as possible. You'll see I won't go where the stone is or where the decking is because there's stone around there. The stone goes around all the patio area, up the side, left, right hand side and then in front of the decking. Uh, this is a, a quick blow over just to tidy up the area. Get rid of any debris on the patio. All, it, all I'm doing now is just tidying it up, just being sort of picky, picking up any tufts of grass that have like, um, dropped out of the mower. As you can see, the lawn doesn't look pretty. Um, it will do over time. It just, it's just going to take a bit of time. As long as it has a regular cut and uh, it's not cut too short, it will look okay as I say it, it's not weedy or anything like that it's just got a little bit of thatch in there and then the edge you've got the uh, the gravel which eventually I will tidy up properly there's your before and that's your after and the sun just makes it look that bit better thanks for watching please subscribe